Our lesson for today is all about applying triangle congruence to construct perpendicular bisector. In the previous lesson, we learned about congruence in triangles. Let's refresh our knowledge about it through the activities on the slide. One summer, Marlon attended the Sarongola Festival in Pandibulacan. He notices that the spars of the kite produce multiple congruent triangles. Let us help Marlon to identify the different congruent triangles in the kite. I will give you 30 seconds to find the three pairs of congruent triangles in the kite. Time's up, so now let's check your work. For our first pair of congruent triangles, we have Triangle AOB is congruent to Triangle AOC. For our second pair of congruent triangle, we have Triangle BOD is congruent to Triangle COD. And for our last pair of congruent triangle, we have triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD. Now, let's proceed to our next activity. In each figure, congruent parts are marked. Give the additional congruent parts to prove that the right triangles are congruent and state the congruence theorem. I will give you one minute to answer the following figure. Time's up, so now let's check your work. For number 1, we have line segment ON is congruent to line segment ON. And the theorem here is D is high L or the hypotenuse and leg. Next, for number 2, the answer is line segment SI is congruent to line segment SI. And the theorem here is also high L or the hypotenuse and leg theorem. And for number 3, the answer is line segment VO is congruent to line segment VO. And the theorem here is LL or the leg and leg theorem. Now, after studying the congruent postulates and theorems, we are now ready to apply them. We can prove other theorems by using triangle congruence. Let us see how. So let's supply the missing statement in the column in the two column proof. Given the line BD is the perpendicular bisector of line segment AC, let's prove line segment BA is congruent to line segment BC. For our first statement, we have line BD is the perpendicular bisector 
of line segment AC. The reason here is given. Next, for our second statement, we have line segment AD is congruent to line segment CD. And the reason here is the definition of perpendicular bisector. Next, for our third statement, angle ADB and angle CDB are right angles. The reason here is also definition of perpendicular bisector. For our fourth statement, what will be our statement if the reason is any two right angles are congruent? The answer here is angle ADB is congruent to angle CDB. For our fifth statement, what will be the statement if the reason is by reflexive property? The answer here is line segment DB is congruent to line segment DB. Now for our sixth statement, we have triangle ADB is congruent to triangle CDB. And the reason here is by SAS congruence postulate. And A stands for the included angle. And for our seventh statement or for our last statement, what will be the statement if the reason is CPCTC? The answer here is line segment BA is congruent to line segment BC. Now, you have just proven the perpendicular bisector theorem using your knowledge on triangle congruence. We will discuss this in the next slide of this lesson. In the previous slide, we have shown that line segment BA is congruent to line segment BC. Given that line BD is the perpendicular bisector of line segment AC. After completing the proof, we can also conclude that the triangle is an isosceles triangle because we now have at least two congruent sides. Now, let us formally state the, perpendi the perpendicular bisector theorem. The perpendicular bisector theorem if a point is on the perpendicular bisector of a segment, then it is equidistant from the endpoints of the segment. And the converse of the theorem is also true. The converse of perpendicular bisector theorem, if a point is equidistant from the endpoints of a segment, then the point is on the perpendicular by then the point is on the perpendicular bisector of the segment. We can also use triangle congruence to prove it. Given line segment CA is congruent to line segment CB, let's prove C is on the perpendicular bisector of line segment AB. Now Let's construct a line through C perpendicular to line segment AB. Then, we now have a midpoint on our line segment AB. Let's name it point D. Now, let's define our statements and reasons in this example. For number 1, line segment CA is congruent to line segment CB. And line segment CD is a perpendicular bisector of line segment AB. The reason here is given. Next, for our second statement, angle ABC and angle BDC are right angles. The reason here is definition of perpendicular lines. Next, for our third statement, angle ADC is congruent 
triangle BDC. And the reason here is all right angles are congruent. For our fourth statement, line segment CD is congruent to line segment CD. And the reason here is by reflexive property of congruence or congruency. For our fifth statement, triangle ADC is congruent to triangle BDC. And the reason here is by HL theorem or the hypotenuse and leg. And for our sixth statement, we have line segment AD is congruent to line segment BD. And the reason here is by CPCTC. And for our last statement, C is on the perpendicular bisector of line segment AB. And the reason here is by the definition of perpendicular bisector. Now that we are done with the proof of the perpendicular bisector theorem and its converse, let us now apply them to prove congruent segments in a triangle. For our first example, in triangle ABC, what is BC if AB is equal to 10? Using the perpendicular bisector theorem, if a point is on the perpendicular bisector of a segment, then it is the equidistant from the endpoints of the segments. Then line segment AB is congruent to line segment BC. Since AB is equal to 10, therefore BC also is equal to 10. Next, for our second example, in triangle LAS, Line AO is perpendicular to line segment LS. What is LO if OS is equal to 7? Using the converse of perpendicular bisector theorem, if a point is equidistant from the endpoints of a segment, then it is on the perpendicular bisector of the segment. Then line segment LA is congruent to line segment SA. And line segment LO is congruent to line segment OS. Since OS is equal to 7, therefore LO is equal to 7. For our third example, in triangle SUT, line L is perpendicular to line segment SD. What is SV? So we will have now here our solution. Using perpendicular bisector theorem, again, if a point is equidistant from the, end point, from the end points of a segment, then it is on the perpendicular bisector of the segment. Thus, SV is equal to VT. And after that, we're going to substitute the value of SV and VT. And the value of our SV is, is 2x minus 8. And the value of our VT is x plus 5. So let's substitute now the value. And after that, combine similar terms. So we're going to transpose positive, positive x to the right to the left side. And it will become negative x. And from negative 8, we're going to transpose that to the right side and it will become positive so we will have now 2x minus x is equal to 8 plus 5 therefore the value of our x is equal to 13 since we're looking for the value of sv again sv is equal to 2x minus 8 we're going to substitute now the value of x which is 13. So we have now 2 times 13 minus 8. 2 times 13 is equal to 26, then minus 8. So 26 minus 8 is equal to 18. So therefore, the value of our SV is equal to 18. 
So I hope you understand our lesson for today which is applying triangle congruence to construct perpendicular bisector. Thank you for watching.